Can I get a toe dolly on here for you, okay? Thank you. All right, no problem. You picking up something? No, we just heard it. Okay. All right, I got you now. Um, I'm gonna send a copy of it to your email, okay? Hey y'all, I am winded. <laughs> um, we all saw the U-Haul thing. Now we're at the old apartment and we are just about done. Oh my gosh, this is the living room. We have to take Comcast back there stuff. This is a giveaway box. It's crazy how much stuff you have that you have to like throw away that you don't realize until you're moving. You know, sometimes you put stuff in closets and cabinets and you just forget about it. So, I'm trying to break that habit. I don't know how successful I'll be, but I want to break that habit. Um, <sighs> kitchen. Y'all not really getting a good look. Hold on. Just a few things left. A few things still in the um, refrigerator that we'll probably just get when we come back. Uh, we're gonna make a hopefully one more trip back here because last night one of my uh, I want to say neighbors but I'm moving out one of my previous neighbors um, sent me a text message to let me know that he saw Fulani um, right outside the door kind of like huddled up in a corner and that was last night by the time I woke up and saw it it was like probably like six hours later so I told him, you know, hopefully she stays there, but he looked again and she was already gone. So we came back, of course, to finish getting all the little stuff out. And this is um, the bedroom, it's all done. We came back, of course, to finish getting all of the stuff uh, out of here, um, but also with the hopes that maybe Fulani would um, be there again, but she wasn't. So what I did is I left um, a little area for her. I'm thinking we will, inshallah, come back tonight because like I said, she's not an outdoor cat. So she's probably waiting until nighttime when it's darker and um, less chaotic for her to try to come back um, home, which is no longer home, but she doesn't know that. Uh, this is the closet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, hopefully, inshallah, she will come back um, when we are here tonight. I'm thinking come back anytime, like right when or after the sun is going down, where there's less people, less cars. That's going to make her feel more comfortable to try to come, come out from wherever she's hiding. And we've walked around again. I think by now I've given up to four people <laughs> my number and um, told them, hey, if you see her, um, just text me or call me. And two of the four actually have dogs. So I thought that was great, alhamdulillah, because, you know, dogs usually sniff out cats. So if they're walking their dog and she's hiding somewhere and their dog sniffs her out, then they can call me or whatever. Um, I just, ooh, I just really want to get her back. She's only been gone for one night and it's like, ooh, emotionally it's a mess. Like, I, I don't know, never, I knew that I was attached to my um, cats and that I love them, but when you have the feeling that they that you might not get them back like that's that's a different that's a different feeling so i didn't know i was this attached to her <laughs> um yeah so we'll see how that goes um other than that y'all like um i'm so excited like about the new place and and starting off you know new with my husband our first like place together and everything and newlyweds but it's just that fulani is gone so it's like it's chopping down my joy a little bit but um inshallah inshallah she'll come back so yeah y'all this is the old apartment here as y'all i'm just kind of showing it to y'all behind me as I ramble, because my emotions are still kind of all over the place, I don't think I'll be okay, okay, until I find her or know that I won't be able to find her. Right now, like that in the, that in the middle is, it's so nerve wracking. Yeah, we'll come back sometime tonight, inshallah. Oh, and my plants. <laughs> so we saved my plants, of course, for last. Some of my plants are fragile. 
and sensitive to changes in temperature and stuff. One plant, I got it once and I had it in the car for maybe, I, I really don't know how long. Evidently it was too long because actually it was more than one plant. By the time I got it back, some of the leaves had burned. So we figured, hey, let's put the plants in last and then just go ahead and go and get them into an area where they can get reacclimated or get acclimated to their new home. Um, yeah, plants, some plants are quite finicky. Like my snake plants and stuff, you can, they, they, those plants are too. Like it is turning off the light in here. Maybe I should leave that on. How many people leave that light on? <laughs> Why? Why do we leave it on? Why? <laughs> it's a habit for me, but yeah. All right guys, so I will check in later. Returning keys. Two house keys, two mailbox keys, gate mailbox fob, and garage. <laughs> complex that we just moved from um, but he kind of lived on the other side I walk sometime around the complex and he would be walking his dog and we just kind of run into each other sometimes and just say hi he's always very pleasant always smiles and always has his dog so it's this guy that calls me and tells me that Fulani is on my stairs so when I gave him my number earlier he just said um, you know I'll walk around you know I'll keep an eye out and he did like he did and in addition to that he's texting me while we're on the way and I'm letting him know like we're on the way at first it was about we were about 30 minutes away and he said that he would sit on the stairs like you know to just to just wait because she's at the door crying and I thought that was just amazing that he would take time out of his day to sit there. Um, it's already enough that he calls me and tells me that, you know, Fulani is there, but he's going to sit there and wait. Then, next thing you know, uh, he texts me and tells me that Marie, which is his wife, is sitting with Fulani and Fulani is on her lap. Because I was so worried this whole time, even when he told me that Fulani was there, I've been so nervous that Fulani might leave because when my other neighbor texted me last night um after by the time i got it like i said earlier it was like six hours later and then at that time he told me that she was already gone so this whole time when mark texted me the other guy was robert <laughs> this whole time when mark texted me i've been worried like okay like Fulani, don't leave don't leave don't run away don't run away don't run away so just now knowing that his wife is there holding Fulani gives me um reassurance that when we get there she'll still actually be there so we're about how many minutes away babe? Six, minutes. six wow okay so we're six minutes away he's driving like a speed racer just because i want to get for money so i'm so y'all so glad oh my gosh i've been away from her for a whole night and today right now it's 6 48 p.m 
feels like a lot longer than it. I'm gonna try not to cry, but I already feel like right now I might cry, like just seeing her. That's my baby. And I was, um, I was just telling my husband how um, sometimes animals like they bond, they really, really attach to each other. So Fulani and Swahili are bonded. When I first got them, I only intended to get one. And I got Fulani and I brought her back. And at this time I was still single, you know, living by myself. And I brought her back and as she cried. Like I remember I took a shower, she came in the restroom her very, very first night. We didn't even really know each other yet. And she came into the restroom and sat there while I was in the shower. She just cried, cried, cried. And something just let me know. I don't know how I knew I just something just told me like she needs her sister the very next day wallahi like I went back and I got her sister the crying stopped everything was fine so they are definitely bonded they're I, I called I know I say sisters people say you're not supposed to call animals sisters and brothers they're litter mates child please they sisters <laughs> so they have the same mom same dad so they are they're sisters and they're bonded so I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all if I get her. I hope she don't run away. <laughs> y'all, guess what? <laughs> well, that's that's her bottom. Let y'all see her face. I got my baby face. How do we love? They hate to the people, mamas. They hate to the people. Yeah, tell them what happened. That I was outside for a whole entire day. Yeah, a day and a night. All by yourself. Oh, yeah. she was hiding I the know, because we look, we look in so many... But the, the guy, Mark, he said that he... Uh, went out to look because he felt like the storm would have pushed her out. So evidently over here it rained and that he was evidently right. right yeah. That's what pushed her out of wherever she was She's hiding and that's why she came back to the door. Yeah. She wasn't comfortable anymore. Yeah. Tell them mama. Tell them. <laughs> I'm so happy y'all. So yeah the sun is um down now. Hence the darkness and I don't have on the flash or whatever. I'm just so relieved. I'm so relieved. I cry like a baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mark was there and his wife, his wife Marie. The crazy thing about it is, when I, because I like to go for walks around the complex, like I mentioned, and I would see Mark sometimes walking, right? And he would have a dog. And at other times, I would see Marie walking and she would have a dog. Y'all, I've been at that apartment complex for about two and a half years. I have never made the connection that they were walking the same dog. <laughs> I never made the connection. I would uh, they both very friendly, very nice, and I would they would always speak, and I would speak to them. And then going up to the porch and seeing Marie, I'm looking at her and I'm like, "Oh, I know you," and then I know Mark, and oh, y'all are married. You're going to get this stuff, water and. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Water and brown rice. Yeah, do you need anything else? Um, if they have, if they have soft mangoes, two mangoes. Let me see the door. Okay. So y'all, like the door. Okay. He's just running into Kroger's right quick. Oh, that says pharmacy. Where's the Kroger sign? I might not be. Oh, there you can see. Yeah. Uh oh, he forgot something. Oh, he forgot his mask. I looked, I looked for it. Oh, you put it up there. Okay. All right, y'all, we back. I can run my mouth. <laughs> oh no, what was I saying? Okay, he going to Kroger's, I said that. Uh, oh yeah, Mark and Marie. There's some angels. There's some angels. I never, I never made the connection. Like I never did. I just, I, I feel kind of silly because it is this. Now that I think back on all the times I saw Mark walk the dog, he would have to make the dog 
be quiet he said don't bark don't bark don't bark because this is a little spicy dog it's little but it just barks and then every time i would see marie marie do, would do the same thing she would tell the dog don't bark don't bark but all of when i walk everybody i see with an animal pretty much if the animal is friendly and if the person allows me dog cat i would say whatever but i don't really see nobody with anything else except a dog or a cat I love animals, so I usually like always, always stop and say, you know, can I pet the animal? But I feel so crazy. I never, I never made the connection. It's been the same dog this whole time. <laughs> so they're married. They're a beautiful, beautiful couple. They actually stayed there on the porch with Fulani. When I walked up, she was holding Fulani. Like, and Fulani was trying to get away, but she was holding her. I just, yeah, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I cried. <laughs> I sat there on the on the ground of the porch and just held her. I was like, oh, my baby, my baby. <laughs> so now she gets to go to the new place. Right, my mom's Tell them. Don't worry, y'all. That's um, vanilla flavoring. Let me tell you the story behind that. So, this little tote thing, you probably can't see because I don't have on my flash, but it's pink and pink and black and has the mesh in it so they can breathe. So, I took one of them to the vet a while back, like this was maybe a year or more ago. And when she came, I think it was Swahili I took first. And when Swahili came back, from, no, it was, yeah, 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 okay, it was Swahili. Swahili came back and Fulani noticed that Swahili smelled differently because she had been at the vet. So Fulani was not happy with the way Swahili smelled. So I was online, y'all, researching, oh my gosh, my cats don't like each other anymore. What's wrong? What do I do? And I found this forum that explained that if you took one somewhere else and not the other, um, when they come back, they're probably going to notice a difference in the scent. They said vanilla flavoring usually works. So y'all, I vanilla flavored them down, honey. I, whoo, <laughs> vanilla flavored them down. And I remember I put them in this thing to kind of close them in a little bit and let the flavor just marinate. <laughs> Cause I was tired of them hissing at each other. So that's where that little brown come from. And I just never cleaned it off. It actually smells good still. So <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right, y'all. I think now is an excellent time to end this vlog. Got Fulani back. Swahili is at home. They're going to reunite. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know. Because Fulani got scents all over her and stuff. She got to get clean. I, I don't know. I may have to keep them separate maybe for a day or two. Um... I'll see how it goes. We'll figure it out. But I'm just so happy. I'm just so relieved. Alhamdulillah. All right, y'all. Um, so that's the vlog for us. Wait, what did I? Y'all thought it was something. I thought it was something I wanted to show y'all or tell y'all that I did it. Anyway, inshallah, God willing, there'll be another vlog about something else, and I'll run my mouth some more. So thank y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Um, peace, blessings, love, and light. I'll be with you. Bye.